A sausage rigatoni is the perfect meal. It's quick, simple, and absolutely delicious. I've partnered with Muller's on this video and they believe that when it comes to making a better pasta, what's inside matters. In a pot over high heat, I'm gonna add olive oil. Next, I'm gonna brown sausage and this is just Italian sausage that I've removed from the casing. Using my spoon, I'm gonna break the sausage up into smaller pieces. You want it to look like this. And I'm just gonna spread this out into a single layer and allow the sausage to brown. Next, I'm gonna add onions that's been finely diced, sliced red peppers and crushed garlic, and I'm just gonna give this a stir. And I'm gonna let this cook for about two to three minutes just until the vegetables begin to soften. If you're interested in making this recipe, I will leave the link in the description box which takes you to the recipe on my site, giancancook.com. To a pot of boiling water, I'm gonna add salt, and Muller's rigatoni pasta. I'm just gonna give it a stir just to make sure that it does not stick as it cooks. My meals are typically simple, but I do like quality ingredients and that's why I love using Muller's pasta. They use real and simple ingredients in their pasta like high quality wheat and filtered water. To the pot, I've added chicken broth and I'm just gonna stir this around and this is gonna release all those little bits from the bottom of the pot. And as you can see, I'm also kind of scraping it up just to help the process. And I'm gonna let this simmer for just a few minutes before adding bay leaf, oregano, and basil. Next, I'm gonna add tomato puree, salt, and black pepper. And that's pretty much it for this dish. This is gonna simmer, and then we're gonna put the pasta into the sauce. I love the simplicity of this dish and how quickly it comes together without having to compromise on taste and flavor. Great meals don't have to be complicated. Now that the sauce has simmered for a while, it's time to add the pasta. And I'm just gonna scoop the pasta out and add it directly to that sauce and just give it a good stir. If you wanted to make it a little bit more saucy, you can add a little bit of the pasta water, but this is absolutely perfect for me. And that's pretty much it. I am gonna finish it off with freshly chopped parsley and grated Parmesan cheese, and then I'm gonna take a big bite and enjoy it. Thank you for joining me. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to Muller's Pasta for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys next time.